Hey, hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? My name is JC and this is the Cuban Redneck DIY channel where we do cooking and grilling on Tuesdays, DIY stuff on Fridays. If this is your first time here, please do me a favor, feed the algorithms by sharing, liking, and subscribing. And if you're looking for DIY stuff, just click on the title and you will find dedicated, multiple dedicated playlists to everything DIY. Today's video is actually a follow-up to a video that I did, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. Uh, I did a curry shrimp with potato and uh, a lot of people called me out. Though. People actually were insulted. Like, hey, well, we put the, you know, potatoes on a, on a shrimp uh, dish. Uh, well, you know, you got to stretch it out, man. We have a Democrat on the House. That means unemployment is rampant. Inflation is blowing up. And, you know, you got to stretch a dollar when you only got a pound of shrimp and you got four or five people coming over for dinner and you serve them, you know, two, three shrimp each. They're going to be looking at you kind of funny, something like this. They'll be asking, hey, what happened to the rest of the shrimp? In today's video, we're going to be doing the same exact thing, except that we're going to be using a different vegetable. We're going to be using okra or okra or kimbombo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to be stretching a dollar. We're going to be using one pound of 2025 class shrimp to feed four people. Uh, we're going to be using frozen shrimp. And unless you know where your shrimp come from, it's always a better choice to buy a frozen. Trust me on that. That is a, a subject for an entire video, but we're gonna, not going to go there today. Today we're going to focus on making a curry shrimp with okra. Uh, I believe that it's a better blend than the potatoes uh, because the okra emphasizes the taste of the uh, curry, especially when you put a little pepper into it, uh, while, my, while staying very transparent. Uh, at the same time, it adds the dish a lot of body and texture, and uh, that's always a good thing. For all my Spanish-speaking people that follow this channel, they're going to be saying, what the hell is this guy doing with curries? Trust me when I say this is something you need to try, uh, something that is very healthy for you. Uh, curries are anti-inflammatory, uh, very good for your digestive system, very good for arthritis. Uh, they will even lower your cholesterol, so definitely something you need to try. In fact, today's dish, if you put it together with some brown rice, you end up with a pretty healthy meal. So uh, it is Saturday morning, I have a bunch of errands to run, but before I run out of here, let's go ahead and season some shrimp. Check this out. For my curry shrimp recipe, I will be using okras for my garden, but please know that the frozen variety will work just as well. Talking about curry shrimp, I keep having a back and forth with my wife as to what is the correct name, curry shrimp or shrimp curry. Google doesn't seem to be of much help, so if you have a good answer to this question, please feel free to comment below. For the curry shrimp recipe of four servings, we're going to need one pound of shrimp, 20-25 class, one pound of okra, quarter cup of lemon juice, quarter cup of Caribbean green seasoning, one half an onion, a half a bell pepper, three cloves of garlic, two small tomatoes, three tablespoons of curry powder, I'm using a Madras blend from Trinidad, but Chief or any other premium curries will do. One scotch bonnet pepper, and that I guess is optional. This will put a little bit of heat on the dish, but if you're not into spicy stuff, you might want to skip it. One tablespoon of salt, black pepper, cumin, oregano, and paprika as well as one 13 ounce can of coconut milk. As previously mentioned, we are going to start by seasoning our shrimp. For this, I'm using Caribbean green seasoning and just a little bit of salt and pepper. This Caribbean green seasoning I'm using is a homemade blend, but know that you can buy this on a bottle. Since my shrimp are frozen, I'm using a strainer. This allows the water from the towing process to run and keep the shrimp from getting saggy and waterlogged. Mix everything well, Give it a little toss just to get rid of any extra water. Touch it up once again with just a little bit of salt and pepper and let it rest in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. This recipe cooks rather quickly. From start to finish we're talking about 20 to 25 minutes so we must have everything cut and ready to go. When it comes to the okra, about half inch pieces are ideal. This will allow them to cook rather quickly. With all of our ingredients ready, we can start cooking by adding a couple of tablespoons of olive oil to a deep saucepan and bringing it to temperature on the medium high heat. Our first step would be to sear the okra. This is a restaurant proven method for cutting the slime often associated with okras. We're going to cook this for about 3-4 to four minutes or until they start developing a little bit of browning at the ends. 
a waist down, we're gonna go ahead and add about a quarter cup of lemon juice and cook for another minute or so, or until the liquid has evaporated. That is it for this part. Let's put the okra back in the container and set it aside. After adding another bit of oil to the saucepan, we are gonna go ahead and saute the onions, the pepper, and the tomatoes. Know that I'm using multi colors here, but any one color will do. Cook that for two to three minutes, and then let's add the garlic. Give it another minute or so. Lower the heat to medium, and we're gonna add the curry. We need to cook the curry for three to four minutes. As it starts to get dark and grainy, we're gonna see a little bit of oil separation on the bottom of the pan. That means we're ready to add the coconut milk and the dry spices. Give that a good stir and make sure everything is incorporated. Put the lid on the pan and let it simmer for 10 minutes. During this time, it is going to reduce and thicken just a little. We can now add the okra. Give that a stir, cover it once again and cook it for another 10 minutes. At which time we're gonna add the shrimp. Give that a stir, cover it once again, and cook it for another five minutes. After that timer has expired, we're gonna go ahead and add something that I left off the ingredient list, but something I believe is key in the success of this dish. That being three to four leaves of sharp shadow benny or culantro. We're then gonna take the pot off the stove and let it sit for four to five minutes to let the sauce thicken. My friends, this is it. This is an awesome Caribbean curry shrimp with coconut milk and okros that you need to try. I hope you liked this video and if you would like to see more Caribbean food recipes at the Cuban Redneck DIY channel, please leave me a comment below. Please support this channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you.